Do you believe that life is out to get you? Or as I hear so often, I just can't win. If you seem unable to attract a relationship, you may believe nobody loves me or I am unlovable. Perhaps you fear being dominated as your mother was. Or maybe you think people are just out to hurt me. If you have poor health, you may believe illness runs in our family or that you are a victim of the weather. Or perhaps it's I was born to suffer or it's just one thing after another. Or you may have a different belief. Perhaps you're not even aware of your belief. Most people really aren't. They just see the outer circumstances as being the way the cookie crumbles. Until someone can show you the connection between the outer experience and the inner thought, you remain a victim of life. The problem could be a financial disaster and the belief may be, I'm not worthy of having money. Or the problem could be no friends with the belief nobody loves me. Or problems with work could come from a belief that I'm not good enough. Or always pleasing others could be the problem that comes from the belief I never get my way. The problem comes from a thought pattern and thought patterns can be changed. It may feel true, it may seem true, all these problems we're wrestling with and juggling in our lives. However, no matter how difficult an issue we are dealing with, it is only an outer result or the effect of an inner thought pattern. If you don't know what thoughts are creating your problems, look at the problems in your life. Ask yourself, what kinds of thoughts am I having that are creating this? If you allow yourself to sit quietly, your inner intelligence will show you the answer. It's only a belief you learned as a child. Some of the things we believe are positive and nourishing. These thoughts serve us well all of our lives, such as look both ways before you cross the street. Other thoughts are very useful at the beginning, but as we grow older, they are no longer appropriate. Don't trust strangers may be good advice for a small child, but for an adult to continue this belief will only create isolation and loneliness. We so seldom sit down and ask ourselves, is this really true? For instance, why do I believe things like, it's difficult for me to learn? Is that true for me now? Where did that belief come from? Do I still believe it because a first grade teacher told me that over and over? Would I be better off if I dropped that belief? Beliefs that boys don't cry and girls don't climb trees create men who hide their feelings and women who are afraid to be physical. If we were taught as a child that the world is a frightening place, then everything we hear that fits that belief we will accept as true for us. The same is true for don't trust strangers, don't go out at night, or people cheat you. On the other hand, if we could be taught early in life that the world is a safe place, then we would hold other beliefs. We could easily accept that love is everywhere and people are so friendly and I always have whatever I need. If you were taught as a child that it's all my fault, then you will walk through your life feeling guilty no matter what happens. Your belief will turn you into someone who's constantly saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you learn to believe as a child, I don't count, then this belief will always keep you at the end of the line wherever you are. Sometimes you will feel you're invisible when others fail to notice you. Did your childhood circumstances teach you to believe nobody loves me? then surely you will be lonely. Even when you bring a friend or a relationship into your life, it will be short-lived. Did your family teach you there is not enough? Then I'm sure you often feel as though the cupboard is bare, or you find you just get by, or are always in debt.